Hey everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Thanks for taking the time to check out the research. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, in the country of Canada. Yep, it's getting cold out here. We're going to the surface of Mars. We're going to look at, not this, this is just an illustration. We're going to see the surface of Mars in some nice NASA photos, all NASA photos. And um, the surface of Mars is very different to the moon. I haven't checked out other planets very much or NASA photos. Let's do so. Very good quality images of the moon, supposedly, from NASA website. And we're looking at the surface of Mars. And this is a clay bearing surface mixed with water. Watch the colors on the surface of Mars. And uh, I don't think there's any areas of orange that I'll be able to show you, or maybe only a few areas. But in general, there's a lot of blues and there's a lot of snow and ice, they say. Now, here's something interesting. These are impacts, but hey, this is a cluster of impacts. You can see that they all basically happened probably around the same time. And there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a whole bunch of impacts that would have hit around the same time. And this is on the surface of Mars. Depending on when NASA and their satellites do take images of the surface, they're seeing a lot of snow on the surface, a lot of caps, white caps on the surface. And of course, depending on during uh, the season, which season, of course, are taking the images, uh, the snow comes and goes on the surface of the moon. It reminds me a lot of Earth for that. But let's look at, this is a bedrock, very colorful bedrock. And uh, Mars is very different to the moon because no matter where you are, you are on the surface of Mars, um, depending on where you're going, there's a very drastic difference in the surface uh, terrain, the topography, the colors amazingly different. Um, the, the bedrock, there's some bedrock in one area. One area you'll see a bit later some mud. Let's continue looking on. They say that this is colorful ejecta. Pretty incredible color, right? You'd think that, well, when they dig on the moon, it's orange, I guess, the surface. We're going to look at Curiosity rover. Here's the moon, the only picture of mine. Um, of the moon colors beside Copernicus crater, but we do see a lot of colors right on the surface, but the ejecta, they don't talk about colorful ejecta. Here's some, I see Jimmy Roberts, one always uh, showing amazing pictures of Mars and I want to look at Mars myself. I want to see the surface. I, I want to show my community a bit of what's up there. I'm concentrating on the moon, but it doesn't have to stop me at looking at these beautiful images because, you know, the big talk about water. Now, we're going to, we're looking at traits. We're talking about the geology and the topography of Mars. There's a lot of sand, a lot of ice and snow and water. Look at the dirt. Look at the dark sand that you see or mud right in front of us. Notice how it's molding around the rocks. Later on, I'm going to show you some objects where, do you see? It looks like a flow, almost looks like a book on the bottom, right? A block structure there. You do see a lot of lines on uh, the surface there over the rocks, some sediment making lines, carving out lines, could have been uh, water lines, ancient water lines, but we say ancient water lines, we're really seeing a, a wet surface. That is definitely a wet surface. And the interesting uh, thing is, I'm going to talk about it later, the snow that's on the surface of Mars is uh, carbon dioxide snow. It's not exactly the same, and I'll, I'll talk about that a bit later. It's much like uh, dry ice. And here it is, Curiosity rover where dug a hole, and this is how NASA digs a hole with the rover. Pretty cool when you think of it. If this is Mars, it is pretty cool. And look at the slivers, the thin scales, if you want. Look around on the bottom right here, and on top there, you see that l layer. It's just a thin, thin, thin rock almost eaten away, right? Or it could be mud, but it's just amazing looking for me for the first time, really looking at the surface of Mars and really uh, getting into it. This is, again, the Curiosity rover. They have their filter uh, on it to look at minerals on the surface, and this is exactly what they did, and this is, look at the object in the center seen with the filter on the Curiosity rover to see minerals um, in the surface. Well, you've heard of dust bunnies. 
scrolling across the desert, right? These are, this is definitely snow down there. And it's dust pockets or, you know, packs of dust together that rolls and uh, slides, maybe I think they said, yes, if I'm not mistaken, slides across the surface of Mars. If ever I say the moon in this video, don't, I'm used to saying the moon, so. Yep, check it out. Uh, this is uh, the long hair of a giant princess that lives on Mars. She's lying down on the beach. What the heck is that? Isn't that amazing? Well, they say again, dust moving along uh, across the surface. We're going to look at landslides too further down. There's a lot of image, images to view, a lot of traits on the surface to analyze and compare with the moon. Beautiful view of a gale crater. These rovers really get nice images, right? It would be pretty spectacular having, you know, to be able to drive around one of these objects but uh, look at a distance you know there are a lot of clouds and fog on the surface of the moon we saw uh, before drifting uh, clouds on the surface of the moon also actually sorry we're going to see drifting clouds that the insight rover has um, shown us a couple of rovers went to mars you know look in the background you see a lot of those hills and sand and mountains there is a lot but again what really strikes me is that there's some kind of water flowing definitely on the surface. Look at how the rocks are blending into that dark sand, okay? And, and at times you see objects that it's just a rock sitting on the surface. So you know that there's no water flow there if the rock's just sitting there. You know, there's ways to be able to know um, if there's water or not on the surface. I mean, look how the, the rocks are being hugged by the, the sand, the dark sand. Hail Crater or Halley Crater, it's H-A-L-E. Looking at the bedrock, Flintstones. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. If we went to, to Mars and supposedly we're going to, we could live in the rocks. There's so much sand and rock there. Um, I know a lot of people don't get really comfortable there. <laughs> I'm not gonna mention that. But anyways, you know, a lot of sand and rock um, that we could dig to safely get away from asteroids, possibly, I don't know. This is a beautiful area called the Juventi Chasma. It's the hills of Juventi Chasma. And look at the colorful ejecta. And not just that, a lot of greens, right? Oh, is there vegetation? No, I'm gonna start that. But anyways, colorful ejecta, they say. But there is water on Mars, and more and more they're talking about it. And I believe that some of these blue areas are definitely, definitely probably water. It's very wet, eh? We saw some of the images at the beginning of the video that it very clearly, Curiosity, the rover, showing us that, wow, the, the surface does have some, um, you know, ice and water. And I'll talk more and more um, when I make these videos because the ice is not the same. The snow is not the same there. Like I said, it's dry ice. Here's Insight and it sees and shows us some drifting clouds on the surface of the moon. So there are definitely clouds up there on the moon. And the ice is carbon dioxide, so it's much like dry ice. So it's very different than the snow that we have here. In other words, it's not snow like from water with vapor. It's hard to understand. I'm studying it myself. And, and again, what I'm saying is what, you know, science says, whether it's true or not, I'm, I'm not speculating on that. I'm just telling you guys what science is saying to us. So this is Insight's solar array system. They're solar panels, and this is what's going to be communicating with Earth and Mars so that they're able to operate the rover. Check it out. Um, and after that, we're going to go back outside. Uh, I'm not so cold anymore. It's not so cold here on Mars. <laughs> we'll go out and see the surface to look at some really cool traits on the surface and some uh, possible mud. Anyways, it looks like mud. Um, so this is uh, it with it deployed and they're in the clean room, as they say, they're all bundled up in their clothes, not to get any dust or anything, um, uh, you know, to uh, anything on top of the uh, system. Looks like mud, doesn't it, on the surface? See how all the details on the surface? Now, hey, maybe the moon is just as intriguing, right? Because we're not seeing the surface. Like, I'm talking about the surface, the ground level. Look at the dark sand. 
It's exactly what NASA calls it too. It's dark, sad, it's incredible. A lot darker than here. It's fun to see the traits of different uh, planets. It's pretty amazing. If this really is Mars, it's pretty incredible. Uh, some of these rocks do look eaten away, don't they? These are high quality image. You can be sure they're there if uh, they're getting them that close. You see the specks of colors that are also appearing in the images. This is Irison Hill. It is on Mount Sharp. Look at the, um, and um, I'm noticing a lot of what looks like iron ore. Very similar traits. I study the rocks here on Earth. I've had for a while as a hobby anyways, starting to more and more now in comparison with rocks on the planets. It's never ending what we can learn. Eh? There's so much that we, um, it's not just one head that can get all this uh, information in, you know, I mean, scientists together, they work in groups of hundreds and even thousands of them to get all this information out there. There's so much to learn about the, the geography, the geology, um, the rocks, you know, the mineralogy. It's incredible. Well, NASA confirms that there are devils on Mars. Yes, dust devils. Well, that's what they call them. Look at the way they hobble around and straight lines um, rolling across the surface you know this winds gusts of winds lots going on up there on, on Mars so a picture of Mars in 216 and in 218 now here's the thing it's the exact same side of Mars it's the exact same area you're seeing dust on the surface or clouds that I say but they say dusts around Mars that you could see, even if it's the same side, they look very, very different. Again, I just see a green planet with uh, clouds around it. Looks like a fresh landslide, not too long ago there over on the left. Maybe something hit Mars. Maybe there was an avalanche, an earthquake. Maybe a sinkhole, maybe the thawing out of the land as the seasons change on Mars. We can see the snow very well there as we're approaching the surface of Mars. Pretty cool to see the greens. Could there be any vegetation on Mars? What do you guys think? I think it's very plausible, right? Um, you know, we found water even on Pluto. I mean, I don't think uh, there's anywhere we're not going to find water. We're probably the whole universe is probably floating in water. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, they have confirmed a finding organic matter. So that's the beginning, right? This is said to be a new impact site on Mars. Notice something when I showed you Bittersheet yesterday from Israel, uh, the crash, how come it looks like it came in sideways like a plane and not straight down? Just saying. You can see here where Bittersheet um, impacted. So they say, look at the long line. We're talking about a couple of kilometers, even a couple of miles long. I'm just saying, okay, maybe it did come in sideways, but it's coming in like a plane for sure. I mean, look at the length and the spray of what would have happened. If I was a big funder for a Mars project and they send back an image like this to me after so many years to see uh, exactly what was on Mars, I'd cry. And I don't think I'd be refunding again. I mean, go on the other side of the hill, get a panoramic view of like a wide angle of like half the planet or something so that we could see exactly all the different objects and elevated objects. I'm sure it's not flat with just a bunch of hills like that, you know? Let me put it this way. If there were people on the moon and they didn't know there were people here and they got the first images of Earth and we sent them images of our Antarctica, well, they're not really going to think that there's anything up here on Earth, right? This is only one part of Mars. So far, they're showing us a lot of sand and ice. Well, here's some sand. You can see the darker sands uh, or substance, whatever, is coming down the hill, being blown, you know, sand dunes on the bottom. So there's a lot of currents there. Here are some ice sheets. 
and um, uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, how snow um, appears and falls onto the surface. Uh, a strange phenomenon. It's not quite exactly like here, nor on the moon. Does it snow on the moon? They never talked about that, did they? Hmm. Tadpole-like object that was formed by water. Okay, that's exactly what it um, it did. Maybe they dug out themselves, the people living there, to live all along the river there. That would have been pretty cool, having the water come out. So yeah, this NASA says it was formed by water on the surface of Mars. You can see all the ice there on the surface. Martian snow. Well, it's a bit different than here and than on any other planet, I think. It's a mist or fog that eventually settles to the surface. That's why we see all this mist on Mars. A spacecraft orbiting Mars has detected carbon dioxide snow falling on the red planet, making Mars the only body in the solar system known to host this weird weather phenomenon. This is my mailing address. I'm